Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today's film is Snow Day. The whole reason I wanted to see Snow Day was because I, in fact, had a snow day. And so I thought, well, if I'm ever going to watch the movie Snow Day, it might as well be on a snow day. The only reason I really wanted to see it in the first place is because it was originally going to be the Pete and Pete movie. And then they rewrote it as a single standalone film instead of a Pete and Pete movie. So I was kind of interested to see it for that reason, because I enjoyed Pete and Pete. Snow Day came along when Viacom itself had really changed. And by Viacom, I guess I'm really just saying Nickelodeon and MTV. In the 90s, or when Pete and Pete was on, it was very like kind of creator driven. You had weirder shows. They'd like take a little more risks with stuff. And then I think they kind of realized they didn't necessarily have to do that. They weren't creator driven shows anymore, corporately created shows, and they never really worked as well. They weren't really as weird as they once were. And Pete and Pete is certainly kind of a weird show. This movie, I really feel very corporately run film. And I, I don't think that really worked for it at all. I mean, I heard two Smash Mouth songs. I heard two songs from 98 Degrees. Well, after I heard Smash Mouth once, I was like, fine, all right, I guess you had to put them on at the time. But then twice? Like, what is this, fucking Shrek? Also, when this kind of film came out, I really wasn't into Nickelodeon as much, and I had kind of a cynicism towards MTV, although I watched quite a bit of it. And I never really connected with that kind of, like, 10 things I hate about you kind of she's all that kind of film. I just never really, I, I always thought they were really fake, and I never could really attach myself to that, even though I guess I was a teen at the time. I was okay with the teenage kids storyline actually and I like the kind of the twist it has I, if it's even a twist but this storyline is very conventional and not in a good way this loser high school kid trying to get the heart of the most popular pretty girl in school and stuff and then he has this girl he hangs out with and it's kind of like subtly hinted at that she likes him maybe but you don't really think about it that much, or at least I didn't think about it that much. They have this scene where she's trying to get the attractive girl to come with her so she can show her this like big whale he like shoveled in the snow. And then she realizes she likes him, and it was kind of like a really forced moment. We didn't have enough time with that storyline before, so let's just like put in this scene so everyone really gets that. And then the popular girl was like, she's not that hot for like all these guys standing outside her house and stuff. The, the little girl storyline is kind of the weirder one. I think it's actually the most compromised of all the storylines. One of her friends is Josh from Drake and Josh, but every time he would, he would like walk away from the camera, like his butt's face in the camera, they'd make a fart noise. And it was kind of like demeaning to the whole movie. The studio was like, if we put fart noises, this is gonna make at least two million more dollars than if it didn't have fart noises. It really ruined any legitimacy the film was trying to have because it just felt like, like some TV movie or something. And I didn't feel like the girl and the teenager, I'm assuming they were in the original script, Pete and Pete, I don't know. But whereas with Pete and Pete, there was a connection between the brothers. I never really got that sense. And they tried to tie it together at the, the last shot at the end of the movie, spoilers, it was almost like the movie wanted to pretend like something was there that deserved that last shot. The biggest problem with Snow Day is it doesn't really know what to do with itself a lot. And it's kind of just an average family kind of movie of the time, which is unfortunate because I feel like in this film there's a good movie somewhere and I feel like it could have happened. If you're just into seeing something kind of forgettable, not very interesting to be honest with you. It is actually a good concept to make a movie about a snow day. I only saw this because of Pete and Pete, and now I did. And now if people are like, you know, the snow day was supposed to be the Pete and Pete movie, now I can be like, yeah, but it kind of sucks. So if you have seen Snow Day and you would like to talk about it, comment below down there and uh, subscribe if you would like to.